Okay, so, so the first thing I'm going to do is to cut a 20 inch piece off of this full 4x8 sheet of 3 quarter inch CDX plywood. And then I'll take this piece that's 20 inches by 48 inches and then cut it in half and end up with two pieces that are 20 inch by 24 inches. I'll laminate those together to make a 20 inch by 24 inch, one and a half inch thick piece for my base. Okay, so I've laid out the height of my sides and the width. I'm going to make these 57 inches tall. And now that sounds like a really strange number, but here's the deal. I wanted the overall dimension to be about 62 inches, and that's just a, an arbitrary number that I came up with as far as um, how I wanted it to be according to my height. And I thought that um, 62 inches was going to be just about right for me. Uh, and and I, the reason why it's going to add 5 inches is because I'm going to add the casters to it. And this is about 5 inches uh, added to it. So 57 plus the 5 is going to be about 62 inches. Now I'm 6 foot 2, and so if you're taller or, or, or shorter than I am, you can adjust this accordingly. It doesn't, this isn't etched in stone, so you can just use any height that you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to taper this. And... Uh, the top of it is going to start out at 12 inches and then it's going to taper down to 24. So what's going to happen is, now I'm not going to go from 12 inches on the top right down to the 24 inches, I'm going to stop about, about a foot up. So I'm going to come up from the bottom 12 inches and then I'm going to start my taper cut up to the one foot section here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece right along here, and then I'm going to cut this piece right along here, and then down that way. Okay, so here's how I've got this kind of laid out in my head. I do want the first shelf to go all the way across, and I'm going to come down about five inches. And then I'm going to only put a shelf on the front part of every, every shelf after that. So in other words, I'm going to come in, since this is the outside, or this is the front here, and this is the front here, I'm going to go ahead and router a half inch dado here and stop a little ways in and then do the same over here and so I'm coming down five inches and then I'm going to go about nine inches after that so I'm going to have four shelves on the front here at nine inches apart and then the first one's only five and then whatever this one works out to be ten or eleven inches or so on the very bottom one Okay, so here it is. Now, uh, like I said, I went and did a full one across on the top, and then each one for the front on both sides here. I went in roughly nine inches. It wasn't exact. I just took the tape and cut a little mark, and if I went over, it's not that big of a deal because it's going to be inside, and you're not going to see it. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to cut this in half, and then I'm going to attach it to the base. Okay, so now I'm going to attach the sides to the bottom piece. Now you'll see that I've got the two pieces of three-quarter inch plywood glued up together. Now there were two schools of thought on doing, on putting the sides to the inch and a half plywood. I thought about going like this. That way the weight of the, of the tools coming down would be coming onto the inch and a half plywood. However, doing it that way, screwing it in, it's not going to give it a lot of, uh, it's not going to be very rigid, 
and I know that when I glue it, of course, it would be just like part of the wood, but I think there's just, there's only three quarters of an inch here that's moving back and forth, and I just don't think it's going to be as, as, as stable. So I decided to go down here uh, on the side and glue it really well, and then screw it in, uh, and I think having this inch and a half to screw to is going to make it a lot more sturdy. Okay, so I went ahead and I put the top shelf in, which is a 13 and a half inch by 20 and a half inch piece. The dado cuts that I made were a quarter of an inch deep, so that adds a half an inch to the inside 20 inch, inch dimension. So 20 and a half inches by 13 and a half. And this one here I just have stuck in just for support. Because what I want to do now is I want to drill some, <clears throat> I want to cut some holes out here to let light in so that I can see my tools a lot better. And um, now you're probably wondering why I didn't make these cuts when I had the two sides stacked together. That way I make one cut and I end up cutting both of them. <clears throat> uh, the reason why I didn't do that because I basically screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> a smart person would have done it that way. However, now I have to make double the cuts, which is okay. It's only going to take me a few minutes anyways. But what I did was, um, there's really no uh, pattern that I used. I just put a small bucket down and I just traced the curve on the bucket and then put a straight line and connected them. So I'm making an oval here, an oval, uh, a vertical oval here, a horizontal here, and a horizontal here. And then I'll do the same on the other side. And so I'm going to go ahead and drill a pilot hole and take my jigsaw and cut these out now. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to install the, the rest of the shelves. Now what I went and did was I only uh, cut five and a half inch shelves because I think that's going to be plenty good because what I don't want to do, thinking about it later, is I, I made the, the dados about nine inches deep or long but that's going to create the same problem that I had before. Lots of stuff stacked behind other stuff. So what I want to do is these five inch shelves or five and a half inch shelves are going to be plenty deep enough to hold lots of stuff and still not get a lot of stuff buried. Okay, so note to self, buy new jigsaw blades. Hey, look what I found. Sweet. Now if I could just find a screwdriver. I've got like 40 of them. I wish I had some kind of a tool caddy where I could keep them all so I could find them easily. Well this thing has two speeds. Slow and painfully slow. You know what though? Here is one of the reasons why sometimes you want to go with a better grade of plywood. Now for a shop project like this it's, it's perfectly fine. But <clears throat> you always run the risk of hitting a spot where there's a bunch of voids and I hit it here. Let me zoom you in and I'll show you. Now you see this here? It's a big void. Um, and it's, it's going to work perfectly fine. It doesn't, it doesn't change the structure of this. I mean, this is a, just a shop project and so it's going to be fine. But this is why if you're going to be doing like kitchen cabinets and stuff, um, you don't even go with the, with the sand and stuff. You go with the nice like marine grade plywood or some nice birch plywood or whatever. But anyways, um, yeah, that's going to work out just fine. Okay, so the casters that I decided to go with are these swivel rubber wheeled casters that I bought at Harbor Freight Tools. I think they were between five and six dollars each. And they're rated for 250 pounds each. So with four casters on here, I'm looking at a thousand pounds that these things will hold. And I, of course, have a half an, half an inch and a half to be able to drill into here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go just like this. Okay, so I've just started laying out all of my tools, and this is just going to kind of build itself because um, every one of them is going to be different because I, I'm going by category. So all of my pliers are going to go together, and all of my nippers and, 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 and um, scissors will all go together. And then all of my hammers and things like that will go together. My crescent wrenches will go together, all the different sizes I have. So um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just start drilling the holes. And then when I'm done, uh, and all little modifications that I make, I'll go ahead and I'll show you what I did. 
and then it'll just kind of give you an idea. And I don't, I mean, I don't think you want to watch a two hour video of me just putting this thing together. So when I'm done, I'll go through and give you a, a, a nice big rundown of all the changes that I made, things that I did, okay, to, to, to kind of put it all together for me because yours, yours is going to be different. So anyways, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put all my tools on here and see what I end up with.